what is up guys welcome back to another video today we're gonna be doing another upgrade to my white single cab this upgrade is something to do with the interior we're gonna be changing something out for something better in my opinion so let's get to it all right so here's my truck let's get it open up so i can show you guys what we're gonna be changing what's happening oh my battery is low but yeah so something we're gonna be changing on this truck is the stereo right there that's the stereo the truck has right now it's a kenwood model number right there that's a model of stereo i have and we're gonna be switching that out not because this one is not good or anything but just because i found a, a good one online for a good price it was a good brand so that's the only reason we're gonna be changing it out so let me turn on the radio show you guys what what this one does just so we could compare this one to the new one so let's just wait for it to boot up it takes a while so let's let me wait for it to finish up you know pick up the camera once the stereo is loaded up okay so the stereo finally booted up and it took a couple of seconds but yeah this is how it looks it looks kind of funky the colors on camera but it's clear so here's what it can do it has hdmi hd radio all your basic stuff for cds it has bluetooth everything pretty much everything you expect from a normal stereo has apple carplay android auto backup camera all that stuff yeah, and also like i said it has apple carplay right there you can see everything that's on my phone is right here you got pandora you got spotify you could also watch um videos on this stereo from your phone so everything you play on your phone it will pop up on the screen you can check your messages everything you know so yeah that's pretty much it for this stereo you know it, it's good it's responsive i have no complaints i actually really like this stereo but like i said the only reason i'm gonna be changing it out is because i found a good brand it was an alpine the one i found and it's um i got it for cheap off facebook so i'm gonna be trying it out so yeah Okay, so just to compare the functions one more time like I said it does everything that it would normally do play CDs USB um, Bluetooth all of that you push this button for the CD to come out as you can see it comes right out just put it back in then right away it will start um, playing the music but I don't want to play the music right now and yeah, you got your HDMI. Like I said, you press that button so you could see um videos from your phone. Or if you have a USB with music videos, it'll pop up right there. But since I don't have it connected, it doesn't play. Like again, it has your Apple CarPlay. As you can see, Pandora. Everything on my phone is right there. Um, maps. Everything's there. So yeah, it has a lot of um options, features, stuff like that. So, yeah, like I said, I love this stereo. There's no problem with it. I've been having it on my truck since day one, but the only reason I'm gonna be switching it out is because I found the other one, but yeah, this one's pretty cool. You can mess with your speakers, all of that. So, yeah, enough talking, and let's put the new one on. Actually, let me show you guys the new one I got so we can compare them. So yeah, last one last look at this one. Like I said, Kenwood, very good brand, good stereo, so. Let me go show you the new one. Okay, so I already brought the new stereo out. Here it is, let me show you guys. Here it is, it's an Alpine. I don't know how well you can see, let me focus. Right, as you can see Alpine. This is a model X900, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Alpine model X900. And if I remember correctly, the guy told me it was a 9 to 10 inch screen. And I think that's the biggest screen you can actually get. I think this one's like a 7. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But yeah. There's a new stereo. And as you can see, this one comes with a whole new um, bezel as well. Let me put it side to side by comparison. So check this one out. And you can see it has two holes right there like storage. Then the cigarette lighter is right there. And this one, as you can see, it's already red because I painted it. I've been having it for a while also and got it painted. 
So yeah, let's put this over here. Let me see. Let, let me try and find a way to hold this so you guys can actually see better. Let me hold it from here. Okay, there you go. As you can see, this one has different um, setup. As you can see, all the buttons to the stereo are right there. You got the navigation for the disc, the camera, information system, volume right there, the audio. This one comes with the little 4x4 gauge right there, which actually isn't going to do nothing for me. Here it has the parking sensors and also to adjust the um, the brake pedal and the gas pedal if you want it closer or far. But yeah, as you can see, it's different just because of those buttons right there and how the layout is. Like, take a good look at it right there. And let me take this one out. Can you guys see the difference? It's going to go like that with the stereo. But yeah, I will, I will show you guys a better angle of how it looks once it's actually installed. But yeah, it, it came with that. I already got it painted so I could match the, the stock one. There's a new stereo. I would pick it up to put it side to side, but it's actually pretty heavy. So you're just going to have to see. But yeah, let's get to installing this one already. Okay, just to compare the, the sizes of both stereos. I don't have any like um, tape measure or something to actually get the right size, but here's my iPhone. Just for comparison, here's the, um, the stereo I have right now, the Kenwood. And if I put my phone right down the stereo, as you can see, it's pretty much the same size. Pretty much the same size. You know, we put on um, the same phone on the new stereo, the Pioneer. Let's put it right there. As you can see, it's much, much bigger just look at that you can see the difference right away that's my phone and the new alpine stereo you have all that space right there and also on the side it's sitting on the bottom but yeah big difference on size right there like i said i'm not sure on the size i think this one's like a 10 inch i'm gonna have to do my research and this one's like a seven inch so the same size as the 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 new iphones but yeah, I thought I would show you guys to see the difference. But yeah, let's get to installing this one already. Let's pull the old one out and let's get to install. Okay, so we're going to start by removing the dash bezel for the radio. It just clips, so I just pull it out. Just like that and it's out just clip so you can just pull on it and sort around next up you want to remove the harness for the cigarette lighter and also for the traction control on my truck and some other trucks there's only three harnesses Just like that, the old one is out. So next, we're gonna remove the screws that hold on the radio and the bezel around. There's a total like of um, six, I think. There's one right here, one in the middle, one at the bottom. Same goes for the other side, one, two, three, and six. Once those out, um, we are gonna be able to put out the radio and also the AC controls. Cause that's the only thing holding it on right now but yeah it's gonna be a long process but we're gonna get it done all right so we're gonna remove the six screws they're size seven Not that they're removed as you can see the AC controls have fallen out and the stereo is loose we're gonna go ahead and pull that out and let's start to unplug everything from the stereo Okay. 
Okay, so just like that, the old one is out already. Everything's unplugged. Okay, so we're starting to get all the connections and wires um, arranged so we know where it goes. Here I have these. That one right there is for the GPS system. We're just gonna tuck that one back there. So we're securing out of the way. Okay, like you saw in the last clip, we took the old one out already. Surprisingly, this one is very, very light compared to the, the new one. This one doesn't weigh nothing at all. That one's super heavy, but yeah, right now we should be running all the wires out the glove box, like this one right here, for example. That's for the HDMI. Also, over there on the other side, we've been running the wires for the OBT, OBD2. And just pushing all the wires back to their factory settings all the way in. And connecting everything it took us a while for the wires to be connected finding out which one goes to where connecting everything so yeah we're la we're in the final steps just connecting everything back the amps the speakers the subs everything so i will pick it up once we get everything back in okay so the stereo is in sorry i didn't record all the, the other process but it was really time consuming and it was kind of hard finding where everything goes. But yeah, the new stereo is already bolted in, connected. Now we're just putting back um, the AC controls. Oh, the bolt, it got bolted down already. We're just gonna put the bezel on right now and let's see if everything works. Alright, so there's a stereo installed, everything's put back, the bezel or the buttons, it's all connected up, ready to go. That's how it's looking. As you can tell, over here on this design of this bezel is different, also these buttons right here is different. This one came with the 4x4 um, button, but that's useless for my truck since it's not a 4x4. But yeah, that's how it looks. As you can see the difference, it has this chrome piece going all the way around. And it looks black in video, but it's chrome. And so, yeah, here you have your buttons for the disc, navigation, phone, camera, uh, favorites, um, vehicle information, your volume, and to go through um, the radio, Bluetooth, aux, USB, whatever it may be, you know, so the mute button. Down here stays the same, your AC controls, like I said, the 4x4 button, AC vent, AC vent, over here is the um, traction control button. I actually took out the one it had, which was this one. This one has for like the parking sensors and adjusting the, the position of the um, gas and brake. But since mine doesn't have that, I took it off and put the, the, the one my truck came with for the traction control, as you can see. And yeah, over here you have your normal um, cigarette lighter. Or I mean, for that. And also your USB and aux right there. Here's the old one. As you can see, this one had the big pocket right there. This one has like the little slim right there. This one was a pocket also. It was covered up by the 4x4. And this one has no chrome piece in the middle or nothing like that. As you can see on that. So yeah, that was the difference between that. Like I said, it, it is an Alpine stereo as you can see right there. Much, much bigger than the old one they had right there. This one's way bigger, look how it looks. Let me try backing out like this. It's pretty big. So yeah, right now I'm gonna turn it on so you can see how it looks. Okay, so let's turn it on so you guys can see it in action. So the key's in, let's twist it to the accessory mode. All these buttons light up as you can see. Also over here, everything lights up. Let me lower the volume just in case it starts blasting. 
It just takes a couple seconds to boot up. As you can see, I had in Pandora right now because I was messing around with it just to see what, what it could do. So audio, over here it goes to aux, Bluetooth, and then you can scroll around. See, it's in Pandora. Right now I have it in Bluetooth. Let me just lower the volume because I don't want you, I don't want the um, song to be playing, but yeah. For, right here is for the camera, like I said, but since my truck doesn't have a um, backup camera, not yet though, it would be right there. This button is for all your contact information. You could dial the buttons, whatever you like. It also has um, navigation. Push that button right there, click upset. As you can see right there, all the information. Over here is what I like about it. Let's go over here. Actually, let's leave this for last. There's your radio. Right now it's Bluetooth, Pandora, as you can see. All your features. Aux. As you can see. You could also connect them. Um, it has four HDMI, so you could play videos as well. I'm gonna connect my phone right now, right here, as you can see. So let's connect it. Then it should start playing whatever music I have on the phone. Okay, I'm gonna just play some quick music right now. As you can see, we have some Chalina right there playing. The volume on my phone is all the way up and on the radio is uh, 1%, as you can see. And it's actually pretty loud. I don't know how well you could hear it um, through the, the phone, but yeah, as you can see, there's um, the music playing right now through Pandora. And the cool thing about this stereo is that it came with its own app, as you can see right there. It says Alpine Tune It, and you click on it, and they put it right here. And what you can do with this app is that you can tune the how much bass you want where you want the volume to be playing the music and everything so for example let's click to subwoofer here you cut you turn it on and how much bass you want let's put it all the way up same goes for this it's all neutral if you want to put everything customize it to whatever liking you has as you can see bass mid all so you can tune your audio pretty much on your phone whatever you want you can do it right here on the fly so yeah that's what's cool about it and here's what i really like about this truck as if you click right here where i was telling you the vehicle information it tells you everything about the truck right now as you can see it tells you your battery voltage which minus 11 right now it checks the reads codes this see if um it will read anything now right now because i don't have any but yeah, it's telling me right now that both doors are open, which they are. Yeah, and right here, if I click on this one, it tells me my speed and everything. As you can see right now, it says zero, 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 my temperature. But if I turn it on, look what it says. Okay, there, the truck is on, the stereo turned back on. So like I was saying, you click here, and look, as you can see now, it's telling me my RPMs. They're about like 600, 700 around that area. It's telling me how much gas I have left, how much air the motor has right now at the moment. Carga, which is like weight and miles per hour zero. But this is what it's cool about. See how the RPMs are going up and down? Let me give it a little riff and look what it does. That's what's pretty cool about it. Like I said, I can also read the check engine and everything, but since my truck has um, no codes right now, it's not gonna tell me nothing. But yeah, that's what you can do with this. You can check um, your tire pressure sensors. You could see um, information of when your doors are open, unlocked, motor, everything. But since I don't have tire pressure monitors, it's not gonna tell me that. But yeah, I found that to be really cool. It tells you everything about the truck. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much everything. Like I said, this is not gonna be a full review on the stereo since I don't still don't know how to use it like 100%. But yeah, that's that's everything for the stereo.
it's pretty badass there's a radio normal station as you can see it accepts disc watch let me push the button right here if I want to put a disc I just press here it comes down and there blu-ray HDMI DVD whatever you want to do and to close it you just push the button again right here and it closes by itself this is for the aux since I don't have it connected I think it's gonna play that's for the mute and back to Chalino right there playing oh the song ended but yeah see pretty badass that's how it looks it matches with the truck I like how the big screen looks but yeah that's pretty much for this stereo you know for this video I mean tell me what you guys think do you like this one better do you like the old Alpine I mean the Kenwood I had or the sound pine but yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe and tell me what you think Lates.